Hey, welcome back to RV Wagon Tales. This is David, and I'm going to break away from a video today, as in a video of the pups, and I'm going to do an instructional video on how we use a tool called RV Trip Wizard and how we plan for our fuel stops and for our pet stops. So let's get started. So I'm here in the RV Trip Wizard application, and I'm going to do a new trip. And we're just going to call this one Pet Stops. And for here, we'll create it. And we are going to start from, we'll just say Louisville, Kentucky area. It doesn't matter where. This is just a, an example. That will be fine. All right. As it loads up, you will see that we have RV specifications. You'll want to put that in. But most importantly for this example we are going to focus on the on the truck so I have a 31 gallon fuel tank I use 8 gallons as a reserve and I estimate 10 miles to the gallon you're going to want to set your fuel warnings to multiple and we're going to save those trip settings all right now we just recently did a trip to Colorado if you haven't seen it I'll put a link up here Otherwise, we're going to set a new location, and we're just going to call it uh, Boulder, Colorado. Let's just, uh, let's see what we got. Boulder, Colorado, right here. All right, so we're going to add that. And when you do the show entire trip, you will see here is our source, or excuse me, our, our starting point. Here's our trip westward to Boulder, Colorado. These triangles... Are indications of where you need to make a fuel stop. So for example this first one here is just east of St. Louis it looks like. So we will need to stop for fuel here. So you go into the research tab, oftentimes it's hidden. Go to research, select fuel. I typically turn off the miscellaneous gas stations because I know I will be stopping at the the Pilots or the Loves TA. I don't stop at Costco and I don't know of any Husky fuel station so I'll just uncheck those for now. So I know that this first stop here I will have eight gallons of fuel estimated. I could probably make it to here but I'm gonna go ahead and for safety reasons go ahead and select this Pilot. So one of the things about adding locations into RV Trip Wizard is you will be adding it in after the previous location. So for example, we're gonna add this stop after the our departure, which is Louisville South KOA. So you'll see that here in just a second. Add this stop after Louisville. So we're gonna add the trip. Now you will notice that my triangle warning did not go away. And that's because we have to go in and tell it this stop is a fuel stop we're going to top off on fuel and just make sure your departure fuel is set for 31 gallons. So we'll save that. Okay. And let's go ahead and just for this example, let's look at the second one. Okay. Right here is our second stop. So again, from this first pilot down to here, this, this uh, Chateau Springs, I guess that's how you pronounce that. We will need to get fuel. So again, I will highlight fuel, uncheck miscellaneous, and already I can tell you it looks like it's going to be a Loves or another pilot. Let's just pick Loves. So we'll select that one. So this one's going to go after the pilot fuel station. We're going to add this after pilot. Add a trip. And again, we come in here to the settings. Top off fuel, and now my warning indication has gone off. So I have these first two stops are now covered for fuel. All right, now one of the things that we noticed last year is that these fuel stops are not really friendly towards uh, small, pe uh, small pets. You know, we have two small miniature dachshunds. Um, it's noisy, it's loud. It's smelly, which I don't know. Maybe they may enjoy the smells, but for us, eh, it's not so pleasant. So what we found 
is that rest areas are typically right before or after these fuel stops. 30 minutes each way. So if, if I click on rest areas now, you will see that our first stop looks like we could stop here somewhere or possibly right around here. I think for the pup's sake, because the first pilot stop is a three hour drive, let's find the westbound rest stop, which looks like it's gonna be right here. And we're gonna add this one before the pilot station. So we're gonna be doing this after the, the departure, but before the pilot. So let's add this in, add the trip. And we're gonna add this stop after the KOA, where we departed from. So now our trip looks like this. We'll leave, and you notice you can see the bouncing icon on the screen there in the Louisville area. The next stop is gonna be three hours away. It's gonna be the Goshen Road rest area. And then we'll drive, you know, after the pups uh, get their, their pet stop, they exercise a little bit then uh, we can then go to the pilot and get refueled. One of the important things that we found, or that I have found about these stops, clear that, is we need to make sure that they are relatively friendly stops. Um, what, what I mean by that? Well, it's very possible that even though it's a rest stop, it may just be poorly designed or it's just not Maybe it doesn't allow pets, or it's just not well laid out. Or maybe it's just too a, a busy stop. So what I do is this link right here, looks like the street view, is really just a link to Google Maps. So if you click and drag that up here, and we'll put it right before the stop, and that'll take us to Google Maps. All right, so it looks like this is our rest area. Yes, it is, and here you can see it's, it's westbound. Oftentimes these icons will not have the direction, so sometimes you just have to visually look, and oftentimes the icon will say it. So let's go see how good of a stop this may be. Okay, so you'll notice here that we can get into this lane, which is the trucker's lane, which, which is where you would park your rig, <clears throat> or you can get over here to the car's lane. And for this example, we would, we would want to check this out here so that we can see how, how pet friendly this stop is. Okay, so it looks like a good one. So we would park over here with the big rigs, get out, walk the pups over, let them walk around, do their business, stretch, run around a bit. We can also stop and get us a soda pop, fix a sandwich or whatever. It's much cleaner here. You don't have truckers behind you waiting in line to get out of the fuel stops. So this is a lot more convenient for a restful stop. And so what you do, you just repeat this process between all the sites. And just so, for example, let's go to the second stop here. Let's bring up the rest stops. And it looks to me like there is another westbound stop right about here. So there's our love stop right here. So let's stop right here at this one. Let's set this one. And we're gonna set this rest stop, again here, this is the important part, after the pilot station. So if you look at this entire map, you'll see our departure, our first pet stop, fuel stop, pet stop, fuel stop. If you get these out of order, all you have to do is just click and drag up and down and you can move them in order. So you just repeat this all the way out and all the way back. And one thing we discovered this year is that you, even though you can schedule and you should schedule pet stops, you don't always have to stop. There's oftentimes we, we would turn around, Tina would look in the back seat, we're coming up upon our, our rest stop and they were sleeping. So we would just let them sleep drive on through, get to the next fueling station. If for some reason you had, to, if you had to do an unplanned stop, as you can tell, there's plenty of rest stops along the way. So I hope this has been helpful. If so, please subscribe to our channel, like, and ring that bell. 
All right, from the RV Wagon Tales, have a great day.